Agris Wade and welcome everyone to Agris Wade back to the garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. In this video feature, I'm going to show you the importance of cutting your leaves on your banana tree properly so that this do not happen to you. I literally move the leaves in such a way that it would actually make the banana or the planting tree very weak. There are some persons who remove their old banana leaves similar to the way in which I remove this one. But this is not the way to remove your banana leaves or to actually prune your banana plant. Every leaf on the banana tree is part of the structure or the strength of the tree. Every time a new leaf sprout out from the center of the tree from the top, this will help to strengthen the trunk of your banana or plantain tree. Whenever you actually move the dead leaves all the way down to the base, this is actually weakening the plant. So I'm going to show you the right way to actually cut your banana leaves off from your plant and the wrong way and the result of the wrong way is this. Your banana or plantain tree will fall down. Let's go ahead. Rather than actually removing the leaves, I will show you what I did wrong that caused the banana or the plantain tree to actually fall down and collapse. And it actually have plantain on it. But let me show you. Every single leaf on the tree is part of the tree. As you can see here, if I remove this part of the leaves right here, it goes all the way to the base. And if you keep removing your leaves or of your banana or plantain plant in this way, it basically weakens the trunk of the tree. Because you see this, this is part of the leaf this right here and then we've got this one part of the leaf as you can see so far it's getting smaller and thinner this is the wrong way in which you should remove your leaves let me just show you straight from the get-go so this is a new leaf not new but this is a leaf connected to the plantain plant I'm gonna try to see if I can right so you saw here the leaf basically comes off if I decided that's how I was doing it from while it was standing removing the leaves like that, thus exposing this part of the tree and it's weakening and weakening and weakening. We can remove all the leaves till we reach the newest leaf on the plant, which is somewhere here. This one is the newest one. Of course, it's not sending more leaves because it's already produced. But this is what I did from the base of the plant, and as you can see, it's very weak. So this banana tree right here is the right way to remove the leaves. As you can see, the trunk of the tree is still massive. What I did, I removed the leaves by cutting it at the very top. So as the plant was growing up, I did not cut the leaves by pulling it down till I reached the base of the plant, but I cut it at a certain length. So as you can see, here's an old leaf where I cut one, that's like the first set of leaves. I cut it, all that still remains to strengthen the tree. Then I cut this one, then I cut this one, all this remains to strengthen the tree so that when it produces, it will be strong enough. So what you would do, take your knife, do not cut the leaves by pulling it all the way down until it comes out from the base, but take your knife and you do it like that. That's how you remove the leaves. This remains but it strengthens the trunk of the tree. It remains, it strengthens it. You could continue going up. And allow your plant to look something like this this is the right way in which you remove the leaves off from your banana plant thank you very much guys remember a backyard garden in some ways to keep the doctors away and agris wade is out 